Hi everyone, it's your boy Zach, and uh, in my neighborhood, you don't have to ask someone if they got their STEMI check, because you will hear it <laughs> from the carne asadas that go on for three days, you will smell it by smelling the carne asada, uh, or sometimes you will just feel it because of the new sound system they got. Uh, so no, <laughs> I will say that uh, basically 100% of STEMI checks in my neighborhood are being spent on uh, carne asadas. Uh, carne asada is basically a barbecue uh, for people who don't know. Uh, but anyway, the funny thing is that like um, this last month has both been like louder and quieter. When people get the stimmy checks, oh, just just watch out. Just just leave town for like three days. But then, so quiet. Like when they run out of the money, they really run out of it. And I think they overspend it, and they're like, oh shit. So $2,800 won't let you party for like a week straight inviting everyone who, oh, oh shit, now I'm in debt. Uh, so, so one of my stimmy check neighbors is now having a, uh, a garage sale, which I've never seen before, which is pretty hilarious. Uh, but anyway, um, so something amazing happened uh, this week. Uh, Jordan Peterson got called a Nazi. Well, I mean, he's been, they do that. That's, that's literally they, the only thing they know how to do. What's amazing is he totally turned it around on him. He did it. He freaking took that Uno reverse card. And uh, now two things have happened. Uh, the, the people who uh, defamed him look like absolute clowns and idiots. And even worse for those clowns and idiots, Jonathan Peterson has now had a resurgence. Um, so he's been, you know, a thing for a while. I remember back in the day when everyone was recommending it, I would try, I, I've never made it through one of his videos because I would always say to my friends, I would say, this is just generic dad advice. You know, I had a dad, I've heard this stuff before. They're like, well, I didn't. So I got into my thirties before I was told like this basic dad advice. Uh, so for tens of millions of people, uh, Jonathan uh, Peterson, is uh, kind of like a surrogate dad. Like he gave them really basic dad. I'm telling you, if your dad was in the picture, if he was, you know, around, uh, you're gonna be like, I, I don't, this is, I would, I, there's nothing here. It's just, it's, it's basic dad advice. But for people who didn't have a dad, uh, specifically men, uh, this is huge, very, very important. So uh, one of the things that's been uh, uh, used to destroy him is they're like, uh, people on the alt-right like him. Um, people on the everything side of everything like him. That's like saying people on the alt-right like Coca-Cola, therefore it's a Nazi soft drink. Uh, but um, so uh, one of the things that's happened in uh, this resurgence is people have kind of like re-examined and re-explained, you know, what is his significance and also why SJWs not just despise him and hate him like they're crazed they 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 he, they literally drove him to almost kill himself and then they celebrated uh so what happened uh, um so I'm jumping back and forth but basically he had some major problems a few years ago uh because of the incredible stress of SJWs trying to destroy his life every single day um, uh, I've gone through that and it's tough. He went through it 1,000 times more intensely than I did. So he ended up taking some pills. He got on some weird diet, ended up in some uh, hospital in Russia in a coma, I think. Uh, and everyone just kind of thought, well, that's, he, he's done, you know, that it's over. Um, and he did come back, uh, within the last year or so, but this has really, uh, just given him, uh, a new lease on life. Uh, a new audience, uh, and I think that's uh, fantastic. You know, one of the things we have to remember is uh, these people are clowns, so laugh at them. Um, there used to be, well, there still is, this thing called Godwin's Law, and I went to go look it up, and it was slightly different than the way it was used. Uh, so back in, let's say, the days of, like, Facebook political arguments, which really never got that bad, the worst thing, you know, the worst thing was when someone would use a curse word. They would get really angry. They would say, fuck you. And everyone would be like, oh my gosh. <laughs> that wasn't exactly, you know, like the Algonquin round table. But like, that was kind of like, oh, you've gone too far, sir. Come back tomorrow when you've calmed down. Um, but the thing that would always completely uh, devalue you 
uh, your argument and your entire side is when you would invoke Godwin. Now, the actual Godwin's law was just uh, the longer a debate goes on, the more likely people will bring up Nazis or Germany or Hitler or something like that. Um, but the way it was used, you know, back in the day, 10 years ago, was as soon as you have to invoke Godwin, you lose. You have basically said you have no argument, so all you can go for is emotional, invective, defamation, slander. The funny thing was that even, like, people on the left would basically disavow other people on the left, at least for, you know, the period of time for the argument, whatever... Okay. What, what was the things that were argued on Facebook back in the day? Oh, Hobby Lobby uh, uh, won a court case so that they don't have to uh, pay for abortions for their employees. Um, and if someone like, um, yeah, this is the same thing that happened in Hitler, Germany, everyone on the left would be like, we don't know this guy. You're an idiot. <laughs> like, it's so embarrassing to invoke uh, Godwin. So the so what uh, Jordan Peterson did is that he started sharing all these memes. Now the baby-brained imbecility of Ta-Nehisi Coates, this idiotic, racist race hustler, was that um I'm gonna put your words in like the mouth of a Totes bad guy, and that proves that you're a bad guy. No, it proves that you're a twat, right? Twat, twat. It proves that you're a twat there, Ta-Nehisi twats. Uh, you're an idiot. You're a mean girl. What are you? You're in your 40s, right? You're like, <laughs> I'm going to get him. Okay, so first of all, you didn't, in, 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 you didn't create this character, but you helped destroy him. Because you know what the Red Skull is now? The Red Skull used to be the embodiment of the evil of Nazi Germany, and now he's a blogger. He's a blogger who's still actively in his blogging career. So, so now you know what you've turned Captain America into? He's a guy who cannot successfully defeat a blogger. Yeah. At least not permanently. He will blog again. <laughs> so what happened is uh, Coates took a character that he didn't create. And he diminished him. Uh, to the point of, of uh, basically disappearing. When I was a kid, I thought things actually disappeared. You'd have your, you know, pistol for Han Solo for your action figure, and you would drop it somewhere, and you'd be like, Mom, can I get another one? I lost the gun. He's pretty much useless without the gun. America. Uh, but, <laughs> uh, and your mom would be like, look for it. It's somewhere. It's like, no, you don't understand. When really small things fall in the ground, and you can't find them after you look for two minutes, that means they're gone. It doesn't mean they're in a place you can't find. It means they literally don't exist. I also have to explain to you who grew up, you know, if you're like younger than 30, what carpet was like in the 1970s. Like carpet could swallow up dice. <laughs> you could drop dice on the ground and the, they would just be gone. I, I can't find the dice. Like you literally drop them straight down. They're gone. They are gone. Uh, but um, so uh, what uh, Jonathan Peterson did, or rather other people did, and Jonathan Peterson you know, shared it, is they started making memes where they would put Peterson's very, very reasonable dad advice in the mouth of a villain. And it didn't, it didn't make Jonathan Peterson look bad. It made the Red Skull look good. Now, right now, there's some baby-brained imbecile uh, psychopath is like, oh my gosh, you just said a totes. Uh, what, what is that tortured uh, phraseology that uh, Jeremy uses? Uh, followers of bad mustache man. You just said he was good. Uh, so he's actually um, not a follower of bad mustache man. He, uh, the Red Skull is a drawing. So he says whatever you tell the letter to letter and uh, he's not real. So before, while he said, bad mustache man uh, dogma, now he says, good Canadian psychologist dad man stuff. So uh, congratulations, uh, Ta-Nehisi twats. You turned uh, Captain America into a guy who can't even defeat a blogger, and you made the Red Skull into a kind of a sort of like 
positive dad, you know, a uh, you know, person in your life, you know, he just gives you good advice. He just, if you see a, a, a cat, pet it. I'm not sure. I, I, st- I still have never finished even one video. I, what, does that just mean just be kind in general? Is that the point of that? Uh, so, so they take things like take the Hydra symbol and uh, they make it a lobster and they're selling like t-shirts and the money's going to charity. But mainly what it's done is it's shown what, uh, what baby-brained imbeciles, children, SJWs are, petty, vindictive children. Uh, and it's Ta-Nehisi Coates gave freaking Jonathan Peterson another lease in life. Uh, it's, you know, in his uh, uh, blogging, uh, uh, philosophy, giving speech, like, he is back. I'm not going to say better than ever. You know, he was huge in what, like 2016, 17? But um, uh, he was gone. Congratulations, Ta-Nehisi. You brought Jonathan Peterson back. In your petty attempt uh, f- for a little bit of clout, you brought this guy back from coma death in a Russian hospital. And he probably has a whole new audience because was he ever known for having like a sense of humor? I, I never got that impression from my friends who, you know, like him. They, they never said, he's so funny. No, now it's like he's got a little sense of humor. Uh, and uh, that's great. Um, so uh, one of the things I, other, I also want to say is because, you know, when you bring this up, you hear from people who are giving, you know, uh, testimonials to the influence that, uh, I feel like I've been saying his name wrong for like half of this video. Jonathan Peterson, (laughs) the Kermit the Frog voice guy, we all know who I'm talking about, is people who, you know, listen to his videos, go to the speeches, they read his books, they talk about the influence. They're like, you know, I, I was, you know, I was lost. I had no direction in life and I didn't know discipline. I was literally never taught discipline. Um, uh, I had a mom, she fed me, you know, you know, she got me to school, but she never told me this basic dad advice. Uh, so, uh, and they talk about like, this was huge for them. Does anyone say that about Ta-Nehisi Coates? Ta-Nehisi Coates, all he sells you is despair, grievance. He harms you. He got famous writing this book that was like, this is a book to my son. No, this is a book to... NPR listeners with white guilt who buy your piece of shit books there, Coates. But the, the book was literally like, son, you're about to grow up in America and I haven't made you hate it yet. You think you have friends of all different races, but they hate you. Like he was literally injecting despair and grievance into his otherwise healthy son. That's why I say to and about SJWs, you're the bad guy. You're the villain. People like Jonathan Peter Peterson. <laughs> I feel very unconfident, you know, in uh, knowing what, Dr. Jonathan Peterson, the Canadian guy. He got good hair plugs. I kind of want to know where he got those. Those are good. The important, the important thing about you're not trying to get some sort of like Stalin, Michael Landon hairline. You're just supposed to. You're just trying to fill in. Like, his is kind of not really patchy. It's hard to describe. It's kind of jagged, which looks more, you know, realistic. Um, But uh, anyway, uh, so uh, Jonathan Peterson, I think is his name, uh, he's a good guy. Boring to me, but if you didn't have a dad, uh, probably very influential and probably very positive. Uh, Ta-Nehisi Coast is a racist, uh, a race hustler, a baby-brained imbecile who wants to spread despair and grievance. Uh, So anyway, uh, thanks for watching, and I will have uh, some, (laughs) nobody really cares about comics anymore, some new comic reviews up eventually.